Matthew St. Germain. Oh, there's no applause today. <laughs> Hi, everybody. St. Germain here. Uh, happy I Wednesday. Have, I don't have that on my soundboard. <laughs> um, my story comes from my friends, the Beard Brothers. Uh, Washington is in a bid to restrict. Uh, they had a bid to restrict high THC products, which failed. And at the same time, they're moving to try to legalize interstate commerce. This one is interesting. As the cannabis in industry continues to flourish, lawmakers in Washington state are struggling to find a balance between protecting consumers and supporting businesses. This legislative session saw the introduction of two bills that aim to impose heavier restrictions on high THC products. However, these bills faced fierce opposition from experts and industry professionals who argued that limiting products solely on THC percentage was both outdated and a counter, uh, counterproductive approach. House Bill 1642 sought to restrict products with more than 35% THC to the medical market, while HB 1641 aimed to limit high THC products to adult use consumers, uh, customers 25 or older. The latter bill would have also imposed higher taxes, creating stricter uh, advertising rules, as well as funding a public health campaign warning users about the adverse effects of high potency marijuana. Despite being heard in, in two committees, the, both bills failed to gain further momentum and are expected to be uh, condemned into legislative limbo and never coming up for a vote. The bill's, uh, second bill, sp blah, 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 sponsored by State Senator Karen Kaiser, say that five times fast, allows the Washington State Liquor and Cannabis Board to enter into agreements with other states to establish a framework for the sale and transportation of cannabis products across state lines. However, it can't take place until the government allows it. The passage of this bill has the potential to reshape the cannabis industry, uh, both in Washington state and beyond. It opens up new consumer bases, expands their reach beyond state borders, would have the potential to reduce supply chain inefficiencies, allow everyone to get that sweet California weed. Sorry, Washington. Uh, the interstate sale of marijuana is currently illegal under federal law, which classifies cannabis as a Schedule One drug. However, with increasing support for federal legalization and the potential for new legislation under the Biden administration, the future of interstate commerce is beginning to look up. This is Matthew St. Germain for the Hyatt 9 News. Interested uh, what you guys have to add to this.